Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to test diodes. We're gonna see many types of diodes as you can see. I'm going to show you how to test this kind of diodes. Basically this is a normal diode. As you can see we have here D. The reference is D in the motherboard. Always D refer to diodes. Here we have the cathode or the negative terminal and here we have anode. Okay? Always this line or bar refer to cathode and here we have anode, okay? So basically here we have the Zener diode. As you can see, I'm going to show you also how to test this kind of diode using the multimeter. As you can see, we have ZD means Zener diode. We're gonna see also this kind of diodes, SMD Zener diode that you can find in the laptop motherboard, okay? And here we have a three terminal terminals diode as you can see this is not a transistor this is diode as you can see we have d in the reference okay so this diode contains two diodes inside it i'm going also to show you how to test it of course we're gonna use the multimeter and we're gonna select the diode option in the multimeter okay so let's get started let's begin with this kind of diodes so always you should locate the cathode or the negative terminal. Then you should put the black probe in the cathode and the red probe in the anode. And we should get a reading in the multimeter. As you can see, we get a reading. Means this is a good diode. Okay? So if we swap the probes, we should not get anything in the multimeter, as you can see. So this is a good diode. So let's check the signal. Here we have the cathode or the negative terminal. So let's check. We have a reading. The same as the previous diode. As you can see, we have about 179. This is the drop voltage. If we swap the probes, nothing in the multimeter. Means this is a good diode. If you get any short, means the diode is bad. Here we have other general purpose diode, as you can see, or normal diode. Basically, this is the bridge rectifier. Always when you find a four diodes, means a bridge rectifier. So we're gonna check this diode also. So let's check. Here we get already about 540. This is the drop voltage. If we swap the probes, no reading. Means the diode is good. Let's check the signal using the same working principle. We get a reading. If we swap the probes, no reading. Means also the diode is good. Right now we gonna check the Zener diode using the same working principle. As you can see, we have ZD means Zener diode. Okay. Basically, this kind of diode is used for stabilization to stabilize the current. So let's check. We get a reading. The drop voltage is about 750, okay? If we swap the reading, we, sh we should not get anything in the multimeter. As you can see, we get one, means nothing, means the Zener diode is a good diode. So let's check also this diodes. Basically, this is SMT diodes or surface mount devices. We find this kind of diodes in the laptop motherboards, as you can see. So the black line, as you can see, means the cathode and here we have plus or the anode. Always you should locate the plus and the minus. As you can see, we get a reading. Good. If we swap the probes, no reading. This is a good diode. Let's check the second one. Here we have black line, means this is cathode. And here we have anode. So let's check. We should get a reading. Good, about 590. The drop voltage about 590. If we swap the probe, we should get nothing. Means also the diode is good. Now we gonna check the three terminals diode. Of course, this kind of diode contains two diodes inside it. So let's check. So this is the first diode. Good. Let's check with other pin. This is the second diode. Good. 
means the two diodes are good and not shorted. If we swap the probes, we have here nothing. And with the other pin, nothing means these double diodes are good. So let's check this one also. We have the first diode and we have the second diode. The, the third one, the first diode, the second diode. Basically, this is P in P double diode. Okay, so always pay attention. This is not a transistor, this is a diode. So you can find also in the laptop motherboard or in the small motherboard a diode like this, a black diode. Basically, this is a general purpose diode. This diode can be used to protect for protection and in rectification. So we can check it using the same working principle. As you can see, this white mark or white line means the cathode, and here we have the anode. So let's check it out using the same working principle. So here we put the negative probe in the cathode and the read probe in the anode. We get a reading. Good. The drop voltage about 650. So if we swap the probes, nothing in the multimeter means the diode is serviceable. If you find it short, means bad. So basically, this diode is near to the power jack, so this diode is for protection. So, of course, one terminal of this diode have to be connected to the ground because this is a protection diode. So the anode should be connected to the ground because the diode is for protection. As you can see, we have a low resistance in the multimeter. Okay, so the anode connected to the ground and the cathode connected to the power rail. So this diode is a good diode. If this diode is shorted, the motherboard will be a dead motherboard.